I'm Tom Harris. I'm the director of the University Center for Economic Development, and I'm a professor in economics, but I'm also a state extension specialist. Uh, what this is is a podcast over an extension and University Center COVID-19 uh, fact sheet that uh, you can request to, if you send an email to me, which will show it to last. This is going to cover PILT payments, payment in lieu of taxes. And it's kind of going to give a state overview, something that people talk about, but I think are misunderstood. There's going to be some other ones later on. This is going to be talking about uh, state comparisons between, between the states about uh, what, what we're talking about payment in lieu of taxes. What are payment in lieu of taxes? If you are a local government, you cannot tax a higher authority. If you're, that means you cannot tax operations or buildings that are state buildings or federal, federal lands or state lands. If you're a state, you cannot tax uh, higher federal. And so this, uh, what happened, this is a thing called payment in lieu of taxes. And as you know, one of the characteristics of the American West are public uh, lands. We cannot tax them. And so there was an uh, under Santini when he was represented, there was some, there was a, a, a proposal that, that got traction called payment in lieu of taxes. Payment in lieu of taxes is something that higher level governments usually pay to local governments as a way of, of helping them uh, cover the cost of, of uh, being serviced on these public lands without a, without a, without a payment and so without a property tax. So uh, this is what we're going to discuss, but let's also look at the different uh, ca uh, things in the, in, the, in, the w in the West. Now, in this case, you can look here. This is the federal public lands. This is one of the characteristics of the West. If you go to East, and, you, and most of us here in the West know this, if you go East, they have no concept of public lands. I've uh, been many times people will say, how come your houses and land so high? You just build out there. And when I point out the vacant piece of land, no, you can't build out there because that's public lands. That's, uh, that's all operated by the federal government. And as you can see, it's mostly in the West by, by far and, in, and, and also in Alaska, we can say in the West too. Nevada has the highest percentage, about 87% public lands, federal lands and federal administrative land, some people call it. And so these uh, have, have operations out there. True, there's federal agencies that bring incomes and operations, but there's also uh, things that occur like fires, could be accidents, could be police, whatever. It could be other things that uh, something, like, uh, something like Lincoln County would have to uh, provide the service. One thing to remember, and we'll be talking about this in another podcast when we get down to Nevada counties, Places like Lincoln County and even Clark County are 90% or above in public lands. Lincoln is 98%. So you see there's very little private land in there. But as you can see in the picture, this is what we have. Now, if we go into my next picture here, this is the federal lieu of payments. Now this, what happens every year, the Department of Interior comes up with the payment in lieu of taxes. And we'll be talking about that in more detail when I do another podcast on the calculation. We'll pick a specific county and show you the calculation. Now, payment in lieu of taxes, you have to have entitlement acres. And this entitlement acres is a lot of definitions for, but one thing there's, there's not, there's a lot of people talking about Nellis Air, Air Force Base expanding and else, uh, uh, areas as well as um, the Naval Air Station in Fallon, they do not pay payment in lieu of taxes. So what we have is uh, this entitlement area, which is mostly BLM and Forest Service and some other lands. Now, if you look at it, the entitlement acres in California is 43 million, but you, if you go up and down, you, of course you can see Alaska has the most, but in the, in the contiguous 48 states, Nevada has the highest at $56 million, in, uh, 50, excuse me, 56 million acres in public lands. Now, when we go through the PILT payment for this, they get $27 million or about 49 cents per acre. Well, if you look here, this is something like a discrepancy, isn't it? California has 43 million, we have 56. How come do they get more? Well, when we talk about the calculation, I'll go into it. Number one, they got more counties. We only have 17 counties. They have more counties than us. New Mexico, for instance, has 22 million uh, 22 million acres, $41 million in PILT payments, we again 27. 
Why the difference? The difference, again, is the way the pilt is calculated. And also, it's the uh, by acres and these other methods, which I'll go through later in another podcast. But also, they have more counties. And so when they give counties a minimum value. So if you have more counties with minimum value, you get more, you get more pill payments. These payments go into the uh, local government. And uh, most governments will say, because uh, you will go in our calculations, this can be highly variable. Uh, people usually use this just to buy fixed equipment. Some people are putting in our operating, but sometimes that's been, if you rely on this amount every year, there's some problem because one of the key things that the that you have to remember this is not part of the decoration uh, the constitution this is a item that the congress agrees to pay every year so when a law comes up for built they approve it and they approve the how it's calculated you could have a time they say no we're not going to do this that could happen and there are times when they come up as funny as it sounds they'll come up with an estimation and at the end they will say we only pay 80% or 99%. They can do that because it's a federal law. So uh, sometimes I know many, some of our Nevada commissioners would say it's kind of ver it's very variable in this thing. But also, but what's kind of interesting is basically, again, 606 million acres in the whole West, we get about $514 million. Uh, look at the rest of the US quite a bit less. Uh, $2.24 an acre versus our 49 again. This is something that I know Nevada has always talked about that this pelt payment, what is it? And this is some of the discussion. It's, we've always been that way. Then here is the federal payments and look for the 13 Western uh, states and the rest of the US throughout the years from 2016 to 2020. See so what I'm saying is not constant. It can go, it can be variable. Number one, it can be variable because, you know, there's a Southern Nevada public laws. They've been selling some of the public land and uh, what's called public land and, and est estimation of it. We will go through that in another one to show how that can be variable. But also, they again, the federal government can say, I'm going to pay 90 percent, 80 percent, whatever. So what's happened, we've gone from 25 million, 26, 26 kind of say it's kind of steady not too much change but you look at other places like california's gone from 47 million to 54 million uh there's the uh, oregon's gone from 18 million to 23 million and so it, it, as you can see we've still been kind of constant but we still lag a lot of the counties even though our acreage is different it's just that we have 17 counties and some of the other calculation that goes into it so what I want to do, basically next publication is going to be a county level PILT payment that we'll go through and go through the calculation. This will be a little lengthier and we'll talk about the nuances of the PILT payment. If you like a copy of this, uh, uh, as you can see, that's the name of it. Just send me an email and I'll send you a copy. Uh, we are in the final stages of doing a, uh, a, a Nevada extension fact sheet, but that has to go through some ADA compliance. But if you ask me for a copy, I, I can give you a copy and talk about it with you. The, uh, the other things are basically that we want to be aware of that the pill payment is something that's peculiar to the West. It is one of the things that we have in Western public lands. And it's one of the sources of where a lower form of government, local government, can tax, can get revenues from a higher level of government and getting some revenues, what they call payment in lieu of taxes. And that, and that is something we may want to discuss if there's something a little different that we need to discuss later, but well, that will come in a later uh, webcast, podcast. So thank you and we'll look forward for the next time.